Hello there, this is Simon Trace, also a PMI company, Simon Trace, and you're at Rougie Trev Valley Railway Station. Now, when I was up in the North East, I did say there was a video for London North Eastern Railway Diverts. And they are diverts, and this blog is that today. Full entirety as well, but we are travelling only to two stations, that's why it's in full entirety, to have a look at the East London North Eastern Railway Diverts on the West Coast Mainline. So we're going to show you the location, we'll tease it right now. So all I've got to do now is, is cross over the footbridge and catch the 0809 London North Western Railway Service to crew and then change the crew to get a, the 0909 Avanti West Coast Service to Carlisle. So I'm going to wait away now. Just now pulling to crew, I have noticed off the Landwich line there is a charter waiting to come in so that we're going to get this charter filmed in hopefully and see what happens after that. I think I've just been informed that I might have some problems on the way back from Carlisle this evening because I booked on the 1606 out of Carlisle and they say that might be cancelled so I don't know what's going to happen now but um, I'll update that further on the blog
So we're now made to Carlisle and first order of business in Carlisle, I've got to go to Cranston to get some coffee and sausage. So we're now made to the border city of Carlisle Station. It is a Vanty West Coast operated and it actually has eight platforms. But it's also got two things here that we're going to show you now. First of all, we've got Jordan with me. I don't think Fork's over doing. It's busy, so I'm going to behave. Yeah, he's going to behave. And secondly, we've got a nice steam locomotive city right here. This is the Royal Scott Class 46115 Scott Scarsman. We're now waiting for the Class A6 electric locomotive 86259 there's Ross coming to the platform. Unfortunately though there might be a possibility of bowlage with that LDR Zuma. Hope not. going to move on to the station history of Carlisle Station. Carlisle Citadel Station was opened on the 1st September 1847 by the Caledonia Railway and the Lancaster and Carlisle Railway Joint. However, when it was opened, it was still under construction and wasn't finished till 1848. In 1875, the station was extended when the Midland Railway arrived with their line across the set on Carlisle Railway. After 1948, the station was relayed to Carlisle. And the free letter station code for Carlisle is C A R.
Now I did know about this charter today at Carlisle, but unfortunately I did not know about the other charter that was at Crewe we saw earlier. So what we saw at Crewe was actually the Northern Bell, which was two Class 57 West Coast Railway locomotives we saw. So right, they're doing some work on platform one here, but half of platform one is closed. Now, I'm gonna tell you a quick story because back in May 2020, I actually had a plan to go to Lockerbie in Scotland. Unfortunately though, with this pandemic, and we were in a complete lockdown at the time, restrictions were slowly easing, I could not make this trip from Liverpool Live Street to Lockerbie. I was also planning to use a class three line seven ride and I was really disappointed, but understandable with the situation. Today though we're going to right that wrong. Now unfortunately I won't be able to get that steam locomotive Scots Guardsman because that leaves at 1315. The train I'm leaving on to Lockerbie leaves at 1315. But we are travelling on a class 397 EMU to Lockerbie which should be arriving now to take us into Scotland. This will be Lockham. So we have made it to Scotland now. Again, it is compulsory to wear face covers in Scotland, but I do actually have a card. But there's just one thing that's missing now. I think we've got everything now for Scotland. Yes, uh, Jordan's with us as well. But he's got Pepsi. We've got our iron brew. But anyway, travelling on these 397s, they are very interesting indeed. The seats are a bit hard though, but on the right, it's a little bumpy, but it should be fine. So we're now crossed over the border and we're back in Scotland. But we're not having a full week in Scotland, we're just having an hour and a half in Scotland. But we're at Lockerbie Railway Station. Now Lockerbie Railway Station is ScotRail operated, but it does not have a ScotRail services stopping here. Only Transpair Express stop here, a few abandoned West Coast services stop here. However though, it does have two platforms. And you know what else it does have at Lockerbie Station? I am brew. I am brew bees. So we're now going to move on to the station's history of Lockerbie Station.
Lockerbie was owned by the Caledonia Railway on the 10th of September 1847. In September 1863, a branch line to Dumfries by Knock Madden opened by the Dumfries, Knock Madden and Lockerbie Railway, which ended up being absorbed by the Caledonia Railway two years later. The branch line to Dumfries closed the passengers by the British Transport Commission in May 1952, and goods traffic continued until 1966, when the line fell victim to the Beechin Axe. All the stations between Carlisle and Carlstairs, apart from Lockerbie, closed during the 1960s, including a station which Jordan will be going on about later on in this video. The three letter station code for Lockerbie is LOC. Halloween, everybody! Also, Jordan's just told me that there is a funny name two minutes south of Lockerbie Station. Echo it... Fekin, folks. Echo Fekin. Can I get us from Echo Fekin? I think there's a new station at Echo Fekin. Echo Fekin! And I'm not swearing because it's Echo Fekin! Echo Fekin, can I get one of Echo Fekin services? Echo Fekin, Echo Fekin, Fekin Fekin, Echo Fekin, Echo Fekin Fekin, Fekin, Fekin Fekin. Yes, there's a place down there called Echo Fekin, for God's sake. So we had a good time in Scotland, but we are going back into England shortly. We are catching the 1509 Transperth Express service to Manchester Airport. Now, I did mention on the way up to Carlisle that there's a possibility my train would have got cancelled to 1608. It has been cancelled. <laughs> yes, Sam. George is with me as well. George is with me as well. Call me girls. <laughs> Any girls watching, give him a call. His phone number is, I'm not giving you it because I don't want to be called. Wow. <laughs> anyway. So, however though, I did ask and they said, your next train is the 809. I thought, nah, that. I'm not catching that train. Because A, I did that last time. B, it'd be full of drunks. And C, I don't want to end up 20 minutes in Wigan again. However, though, what they did say is that I can travel the 15th, this is at Carlisle Station, Twitter told me to go on the 1809. Bad advice, no thanks. However, though, at Carlisle Station, they you said... You really did want a woman on the 1809, no? I'm trying to do a blog here. Sorry! I'm trying to do a blog here. Right. However, though, at Carlisle Station, they did say I could travel on the 1549 to Preston because my train that was supposed to be a car lot, is actually starting at Preston. So I can travel on that service at Preston to head back to Crewe, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So our train should be arriving now to take us, well, to boost us out of Scotland.
Yes, this is not Carlisle Station, this is Preston Station. Long story short, which I'm about to explain now, on the train, I was just about to get off at Carlisle, but they said you're allowed to stay on the train if you wish to, to get to Preston, because the Avanti West Coast service that was going to catch at 15.49 of Carlisle was running about 15, 20 minutes late. And also, the train that I'm going to catch off here is going to run late, because it's running empty stock from Glasgow Central to Preston. So they said, you're more than welcome to stay on. So they stayed on, they had a crew change, and they were fine with it. So I managed to get to Preston on that Transpair Express. We are waiting for the 1717 Avant West Coast service, which is running late, because it's running late to stock from Glasgow. Take me to crew. So since the train is really 20 minutes late, I won't have time to get to the meeting crew. So what I've done is, just get this down, I actually visited KFC in Preston. So I'm going to have this on the train to crew. We are sorry that the 1717 Avanti West Coast service to London Euston via Birmingham New Street is delayed by approximately 23 minutes. Now on the delayed 1717 to London Euston by way, go as far as crew on this. Now the only problem is I get to crew for about half past six, which means I've got a three minute connection to get the 1833 service to Rouge Shrub Valley. This is why I went to KFC earlier, because I knew I wasn't going to be able to get to McDonald's in time to do it. Otherwise I have to wait an hour for the next train and I don't really want to be waiting anymore, I just want to get back now. So when I get off the train at crew, it's going to be a mad rush to get that train. I didn't realise this train left Rouge Trevor in 1930. I thought it was going to be like 1918 or something like that. Anyway, then we might as well go to Rouge Town Station and then summarise up today's journey at Rouge Town Railway Station.
before we summarise today's events, oh, we have missed somebody today. So here's the Cal moment. Say hello, Cal. Hey, go on. So we now arrived at Rougie Town Railway Station. We actually never started our journey here this morning because we started our journey at Rougie Trent Valley Railway Station because the train off Rougie Town didn't terminate at Rougie Trent Valley till 8.16 in the morning and I would have missed that 8.09 off Rougie Trent Valley. Went over the crew. The changeover at crew was fine. Surprisingly though, we did get the Northern Bell, which was uh, West Coast Railway's Class 57 diesel locomotives. 57601 Winter Castle and 57316. They were working a service from Telford to Harrogate by York because the other calling point on that route after crew was York. So that was all right. Unexpected as well. Then we went up to the West Coast Main Line to Carlisle. And filming at Carlisle with a steam train standing in the middle of the platforms, it's not the best idea to do trains at Carlisle. But it was still fun to do. Because... We did get what we came for at Carlisle, the London North Eastern Railway Azuma Diverts. We had some arriving into Carlisle Station, had some departing Carlisle Station. And that was the reason I went to Carlisle for, but the steam locomotive and the Class 86 electric locomotive, 86259 Des Ross, was extra bonuses. After Carlisle went up to Lockerbie, and again, we went to Lockerbie, went to Scotland, Nice to visit Scotland again, even though it was over for an hour and a half. We were visiting more diverts for the East Coast Main Line with more air and VR Zoomers. We even got the London King's Cross to Inverness service on the West Coast Main Line, flying through Lockerbie. We also got the Transpire Express and the Avanti West Coast services and some freight. The brilliant thing is, though, with the first, with Transpire Express, is that it was my Bay First Class 397 ride. And did I enjoy it? They were alright actually. Not the best of comfort because the seat back seats were hard, but other than that they were good units to ride on the West Coast Bay Line. I think they were a bit rough between Carlisle to Lockerbie, but they were smoother going down to Preston. Which is where we actually headed because I was about to go back to Carlisle to change from Avanti West Coast service, but the conductor before they arrived into Carlisle put an announcement up saying but, well, I've been informed that our train was running late, so feel free to stay on this one to Preston, and that's what I did. So I took the 397 down to Preston, changed at Preston for the 1717 back to West Coast service, which was running about 20 minutes late, but got back to crew OK for the 1833 London North Western Railway service, and went back to Rougie Trevor, Rougie Town, so everything was OK. Even though there was disruptions, the journey was OK. And that's the strangest thing about today's journey. Because even though I had a cancelled train for Carlisle, I still made it. Crazy, is it? But this is why I do it, because it's for the enjoyment. I do enjoy this hobby. I know you people watching this enjoy my railway journeys. These are behind the scenes of visiting places to fill trains and photo them. So without further ado, it is time to, well... Sign off before I do the usual things, you know, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you wish to. Thank you for watching this railway journey. Don't know where the next one will be. And before I say goodbye, happy Halloween. <laughs>